You said it was a 2001 inverter. What's the surge on it? Well, let's see. Well, here, we can figure it out. So let's. <laughs> you're going to put. No, you're not going to put the 11, kettle on right now? Well, no, yeah, sure. Let's see. Let's get that and that. Let's crank that up. So there you hear the fan. Yep. There's 2,095, 2,076. So this is just over. So it's got about 100 watts where it, it over 2,000 where it won't beep at you. Then if you go over like 21, it'll start to beep at you and tell you it doesn't like it. And then it'll eventually turn off. But right now we're boiling water and cooking this. Good morning, good morning, good morning. See, I always don't wear a hat. Welcome back to my vlogs. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. What I do here is a lot of van life content. However, I am going to be getting more into tiny homes. Uh, I hope to be designing a container home in the very near future for myself, doing more van building, bus building, overlanding building, which is what I'm sleeping in right now, which is a, a Jeep Overlander uh, Gladiator, and I, I have a rooftop tent, which is what I'm technically in. I am on my way to Colorado Tiny House Festival, and I met up with a friend of mine, uh, Miles from Light Harvest Solar, drove out into the middle of nowhere, Colorado, to somewhere we actually don't have any service, so we are completely off the grid. So this vlog is really gonna be showing you guys our setups. He has a really cool, like an Astro van. It's like, it's a sleeper. I call it a sleeper because it, it's very deceiving on what it can do. I obviously have a Jeep Gladiator, which is what I said. We are parked in a spot where I don't even think vans can get to maybe a four by four van late last night so i didn't do any footage last night whatever i give you guys a pan around on what's going on inside the tent here uh that window's not open i opened this up just so i can get some lighting in here um but you know my clothes are over there you know backpack with uh like a couple like books and gear and stuff um my hat with like my wallet my keys and such my phone water essential um yeah and then outside, I have my setup. I'm going to go cook some breakfast here in a minute. And then it's beautiful. There's a stream down there. I don't think you guys can hear it, but I'll, I'll be quiet for a second. Ready? People talk about where do you find spots? Where do you do this? How do you do that? I'm going to talk, talk to Miles about that later on in the vlog because honestly, this spot is not on iOverlander. It's not on Seeker app. It's not on any of these apps that people use. Oh, and last night it was cold. I am filming this in July, okay? Because the festival's on July 10th. Guys, I'm sleeping in a 30 degree sleeping bag and I have a comforter and I'm in a sweatshirt right now and I got, you know, sweatpants on. Oh my goodness, it was cold last night. We are roughly 9,000, maybe 10,000 elevation. It was chilly. <laughs> I did not bring my heater. I only brought my air conditioner because I thought it was July and I did not know that we were going to be camping at a very high elevation. So far, knock on wood, I do not have any elevation sickness or whatever they call that. I'm going to go cook some breakfast. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to like brush my teeth, do all that stuff, like your morning routine stuff, which you guys are not going to see. Miles is awake now, and um, I actually got up this morning, took some pictures. I walked down to uh, the stream that's behind me. It's way down, not way down there. It's, I don't know. 50 yards yeah right. uh, but miles is uh a little different than i am when it comes to to, to camping because you got this is this the astro van it's the same thing it's a safari all-wheel drive it's the same thing as the astro van. same thing dude the thing is so sweet you good. put a four inch lift on this i think there's a five inch five inch five inch lift 30 inch tires and it, and it's uh, all-wheel drive so it's four wheel drive uh, basically, you can put a low speed. It doesn't have a low speed gearbox. Gotcha. So anything that's really super gnarly, you gotta. Well, but you can put one in. It's a drop in replacement. Well, coming out here, I only put mine in four high. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I mean, that was you were fine. Yeah, it did good. As I'm having my coffee, right here, Miles comes out with this mamma jamma, and you have everything electric. Now I actually have a I have a butane slash propane cooktop. Uh -huh. You don't have any of that. You have zero. I'm, I'm a total electric now. You're hundred percent electric. Uh huh. Totally. How are you out here? Because we're boondocking. We're not plugged yeah. into anything. How are you doing this all electric? Because well, this mamma jamma. The biggest. I've got a 345 watt solar panel. On so your that, that, roof on my, of that? On my roof. Uh huh. Of the van. All right. First of all, before we even go into that, you have a 345 watt solar panel because of who the heck you are. Yeah, light harvest solar, <laughs> right? So it's my, this is my business. This is actually my product, my new product that came out. And um, 
So this, this is why I have friends in high places because <laughs> I get to camp with cool people like this. It's got uh, uh, alternating current, two, two kilowatt battery, um, and then I cook all electrically. So you're about I'm, to make breakfast. I'm about to make breakfast. I'll make breakfast in this, and I've got another skillet too. But it does everything, you know. Like I blow up my air mattress. I've got a heated blanket. I've got a fridge. I've got this. You were. It was cold last night. Were you toasty with your heated blanket? Oh, yeah. yeah? yeah it was You're even running a 120 volt refrigerator. I am, uh huh. And I tell people not to do that, and yet you are, and you have an electric company or a solar yeah, company. Yeah, yeah, it's just the, the cheaper. I mean, I paid $129 for it, and it does just fine. It can keep up. I've got alternator charging too. I can charge all these with alternator. And I, and I As in, you can plug it into your, your like the alternator of your van? Mm -hmm. And drive and charge it while I drive. So you have a 345 watt panel. You got an alternator car or through charger. your thing, charger. You have two of these with you, right? Two of these and one smaller one that's kind of similar. To heat all my water. So this is, you know, how I heat my water. You're, that's actually heating right now? Yeah, 960 watts. So it'll, I'll just leave it on. It'll heat up in, you know, 30 seconds or whatever. You'll start to hear it. Yeah, you're right So, you know, that's how I wash my hands. That's how I wash my dishes. That's how I cook it and make any coffee or hot water or whatever I need. So if somebody wanted like a simple setup in a van, not even a, like, like just like a setup in a van, you could just take this with you pretty much everywhere you go. Yeah, this is great for, um, for weekends. One, one for a weekend. And this will take up to 700 watts. So you can actually... If you have as much solar as it'll do, you could go per extend pretty extended. You could two well. of your panels. I could have two. I could totally fill that roof. That's pretty stealth. But these have the thing is about this is it's got a 2,000 watt inverter. So these tend to run at about 1,500 watts. Lots of stuff that's really important runs at about 1,500 watts. So a 2,000 watt inverter. You could technically like run an induction off of that. Absolutely can run an induction. I've got. I didn't bring it, but I've got one. You said it was a 2000 watt inverter. What's the surge on it? Well, let's see. Well, here we can figure it out. So let's. <laughs> you're gonna put? No, you're not gonna put the 11, kettle on right now. Well, no, yeah, sure. Let's see. Let's get that and that. Let's crank that up. So there you hear the fan. Yeah. There's 2,075. 2,076. So this is just over. So it's got about 100 watts where it, it over 2,000 where it won't beep at you. Then if you go over like 21, it'll start to beep at you and tell you it doesn't like it and then it'll eventually turn off. But right now we're boiling water and cooking this. You can hear this thing starting to fire up. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, you can hear that firing up. Oh yeah. And, um, and this is running. And this is running. And yeah, we're just over 2000, 2050, 2060. All in just this little guy. Yeah, oh yeah. Now, after he's done cooking breakfast, then we're gonna head off to another spot and we're gonna show how that all works out. But I wanted to show you guys what that bad Larry can do that thing is a beast of a machine all in one unit i'm a little jealous a little bit a little bit we are approaching uh the next campsite i'm here with miles and uh, i got the jeep obviously behind me and miles Riggs is right there we've come to a couple different ways that we could go uh and then there's a sign over there that actually says high clearance vehicles recommended for travel beyond this point which means all you van lifers out there, <laughs> unless your thing is lifted, you're not going past that point. I can do it with my Jeep, obviously, because, well, it's Jeep. And Miles, he's got like a four or five inch lift on his GMC Safari, so we could do it. We're just going to now determine which way we're going. And this is an old school method for everybody out there. Yeah. And, and yeah. This is a the map. Gazetteer. <laughs> Like gazetteer, that's ga what it's called. Ga the gazetteer. Oh my goodness. It's like the ultimate old school map, right? There's three ways to go. We're looking at a topographic map, trying to figure out which is going to be the least gnarly probably, right? Where are we right now? We're right here, right? We're right outside yeah. of Webster. Webster, Colorado. The white road is a f decent uh, um, decent dirt road. I mean, it which was- Which we just did. Uh, yeah, just... it was pretty, it wasn't super bad. And now it goes to these dotted lines, which will take us on four by four trails, pro uh, very likely. Uh, that's the one that's listed as four oh, high clearance four-wheel drive. This one goes up the side of a mountain that we don't want to be in. This looks like a nice river valley. Yeah, so that's is that the middle one right here? Yeah, yeah, the middle. The, no, the, the this one right here, which is the nice river valley, is this is one. Is this one? Which okay. I think is probably the least gnarly of the three. Okay. And it's my vote, probably. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna say we're gonna we're gonna not go super gnarly, and we're gonna go kind of gnarly. <laughs> but we don't know. Yeah, we don't actually know. You and I have never been down this road we before. We're, we'll see. So we're going to find we're gonna out. We're going to go down the road we think is mid-gnarly. Yeah, so we had three options. Uh, one, 
two. Oh no, just two options. No, I guess. three. That, see that road that goes up this, this way? This road does go up? Yeah, oh, it that's does. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, so that's, that's number three. Yeah, we're good. We're just going to go with option one. Let's give it a go and see what happens. Yep. What do you think? Uh, we've been lucky so far. We lucky. Yeah, great. Thanks for jinxing us. Awesome. Yeah. We got the campsite, set everything up, changed my shirt because I think it started to smell, but I wasn't sure because you're used to your own smell. Who knows? I got Miles over here. He's cooking up a storm for us. Again, using his Aspen, uh, making us burgers, my burgers, just so you guys know that I actually contributed to this. Uh, but yeah, this is the setup. I'll kind of spin around. You guys can see what's going on here. We got obviously my Jeep right here, pullout situation right there. If you don't know, I did build those custom. They are from, they were for just me. Um, I don't know if they're a prototype or what or anything of that nature, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll do them again. If you guys have some noise in the background, it's actually a little, little stream action. Bring you guys down here and see, kind of show you guys what's going on. About 60 miles out from Denver, and that's where we're actually headed to tomorrow for the Colorado Tiny House Festival. Um, but look at this, we got a little stream action. I actually drove right through that on the way in, you know, and then it continues down here. It's nice up here. It's really beautiful. I actually considered buying some land here in Colorado. What do you guys think? Comment below if you guys think I should buy some land in Colorado and make a ghost town here. If you don't know what I want to do with ghost town, it's actually pretty simple. It's going to be a container home for myself, probably one tiny home as a, you know, rental property or, or Airbnb guest house which will also be part of the container home and a shop space for people to come through and work on their vans or buses or overlanding rigs uh, able to plug in most of it's going to be powered by solar all the good stuff but i'm considering colorado as one of those destinations closer to a city either denver or colorado springs not out here in the middle of nowhere it'll be within a half hour drive of a decent metropolitan area he's got the burgers going it looks like this looks pretty how's that aspen doing she's great uh i don't know 1200 watts right it's probably i don't even know i can't tell i don't know I'm i might actually charge my phone as he's doing it because it has wireless charging ports right there pretty cool all right uh help miles do some cooking Maybe get some pretzel, like peanut butter pretzel bites. Have you guys had those from Trader Joe's? Love them. Okay, I'm gonna end this vlog by starting a new one. So I, uh, we camped for a couple days and now we are in Colorado Tiny Fest. There's a bunch of rigs behind me. I've got a generator going behind me. People with generators don't get enough solar power. I'm just kidding. Sometimes it's needed. But I'm making a little breakfast right here, a little bagel action. I uh, got my coffee. I'm gonna end the uh, you know the vlog of us camping, and the next vlog will be Colorado Tiny Fest. Gonna go check out some rigs. Excited to see that. Later.